Hello everyone, you join me back here for part 8 of our Rags to Riches Sims 2 Let's Play. I am excited to say that I finally have a new microphone. Hopefully you will notice sound difference, fingers crossed. Um, what's really exciting as well is um, this is the first part that I'm recording after having pre-recorded all the previous seven extra parts so after uploading this um after uploading part seven i took a little bit of time to think about sort of my production production is that the right word basically <laughs> i bought a microphone and thought i really want to improve on the sound quality um because i just really wasn't happy with how it was sounding i noticed that the sim volume was also super quiet so I really want to get back to things sounding good and hopefully a little bit better. So fingers crossed you actually hear some difference. I'm so, so happy to see that um, I'm currently on seven subscribers, which is amazing that people have actually wanted to see and hear sort of Ronnie's story and see how things go. So now that Ronnie and Christy are waking up, in the last part, we had Ronnie and Christy getting engaged and we managed to get more cars sold at our car lot. So, I think the plan for today is to get them both up and showered. Ronnie, don't eat that. Thank you. Is to get them both up and showered and we are going to get some breakfast served and Christy is off to work. Okay. So it is a Saturday. So what I might do is use this Saturday to get this car built up and potentially maybe sell some stuff when we get back. I'm not sure yet, but we're going to have Christy go to work anyway. I'm still having trouble looking for any mods that kind of disable this when a home business has been purchased. But if I do figure that out, I will let you know. So, huh, what a week it has been. In the UK, um, we just had a long bank holiday for the Queen's Platinum, Platinum Jubilee. Um, I can't say that we particularly did anything for it, but it was sort of nice to, because I was off work anyway. My husband had two days off, so we got to spend some time together, which was really nice. I'm now just frantically checking my alarm um, because I'm trying to buy tickets to this thing and the tickets go on sale in just under an hour. Um, so fingers crossed I actually get them because I've had an alarm set in my phone for ages. I noticed this when I was editing my last part. She has a shower, comes out, and then complains about this space here. But I, uh, she's trying to get to the hot tub. Right, well, you're going to have some breakfast because you're going to work. Uh, maybe you're not going to have breakfast because you've got to go to work. Yeah, I noticed when I was watching it back last time that she was, like, standing here and kept complaining. But I never clocked on that it was because she can't get to the hot tub. I'm hopefully going to look at getting this fence sorted so we can maybe try and get some sort of back garden. Eventually, I would like to see them get put... Get put? I'd like to see them go on um, a foundation because I just think that that'll make the house just look a little bit nicer. Right, leave your breakfast and go to work. Ronnie's going to... You know what, Ronnie? You can eat her leftovers. You can then use, take a shower and get this paper recycled. And then we'll get him working on the car. I apologise as well if I sound a bit nasally. Um, I don't know whether it's allergies or a cold, but I feel awful. We bought a log burner last night um, for the garden. And then I proceeded to spend like an extra hour out there. And my husband was like, will you just come inside now? And I, I just absolutely am obsessed with like fire that sounds so bad i don't know why i said that i'm sorry <laughs> i mean like you know like looking at fire not like yeah i'm just gonna shut up because i'm digging myself a hole here so that was really nice to kind of sit outside but it did get really cold and as a result i'm a bit sniffly now so i apologize if that's a bit jarring is that that dog that always comes and digs holes and oh, no, it's a different one isn't it Oh, so my goals for today's episode, I want to try and get some cars sold and I want to really try and focus on just making this house a little bit nicer. I know I said about wanting to get married. We might potentially do that in the next part. 
let's have a look so let's get things tidied up you know what don't worry about making the bed just get straight on with the car let's see if we can get this car done before christy is home now christy has all the skills she needs for a promotion she's got um a reasonably good performance bar i'm hoping that we might be able to get a promotion today because we could use a little bit of money so we will see right then ronnie let's get this car going oh is that the engine done excellent it is oh now it's raining come on if you can get this done before christy's home from work he does need a shower oh you beautiful human well done right have a snack you've let your dinner go off actually don't have a snack we've got loads of leftovers so we've had blue we've had black so the next color is green And do you know what? You might even be able to open the shop today. Now, I found an equaliser online that I actually understood how to use. And I'm hoping that I've managed to mute the background sounds. But my budgies are being a little bit noisy now. So hopefully when I'm listening to this back, you might not be able to hear them. But knowing my luck, you probably still will. So if you can still hear them, I do apologise. Okay, Ronnie, let's get this car painted. So we've got about half an hour before Christie's home. Answer your phone. We'll carry on spraying in a second. I felt really bad before because I realised that Christy doesn't have a mobile phone and Ronnie does and there's no phone in the house. Oh, lovely. Christy has been promoted to algae hunter. Who knows what wondrous treasures lurk in our rivers and streams. The algae hunter, that's who. Your job is sample collection. Your focus is algae. You don't perform any of the official tests yourself, but at least you get, at least you have a job that lets you enjoy the great slimy outdoors. Christy now works from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m., starting p.m. even, starting immediately. Christy brought home 502 simoleons and got a bonus of 1,004. Oh, well, that's great to see. So what I'm going to actually do is just really quickly go ahead and buy um, a house phone. Now, I've edited with the sound as well because I noticed the volume of the game was super quiet when I was um, editing those parts back. But what I do worry is that now we're not going to be able to um, hear anything. Um, oh, no. Okay. Right. So that's not going to work. Oh, it could go there. That's fine. Right. Let's get back to it. Okay. So, Ronnie spray paint in the car. Oh, thank you very much for cleaning up, Christy. That is very much appreciated. Why don't you go ahead, make the bed... Go to the toilet, clean up a little bit whilst Ronnie's finishing this car. And then you can play on some games for a bit. I'm not going to open the shop today because it is a little bit late. But what I am going to do, excellent. Let's go ahead and set this for sale. Why can't it be set for sale? We've done it before. Oh, that's worrying. I know you're tired. Why don't you go have a little sleep? I am a little bit worried that I can't set this for sale. There we go. So that could sell for 5,582. And do you know what? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make that a bit more expensive. And while I'm at it, I'm going to change the colour as well. Whoa! Whoa! I like the flames there. Excellent. I've never I've never seen this colour before. Excellent. We'll roll with that. So we've got two cars, a garish green and this car here. And we'll get those sold tomorrow. And hopefully that will bring in a bit of income so that maybe we can get married. I'm not sure whether I wanted to get married in this part, but maybe we will now. Okay. So Christy's just having a shower. 
Okay, she's playing some games and she's going to go to bed in a second. Okay, so the pair of them have just woken up, even though it's like one in the morning and I have a horrible feeling. Oh, they are. Okay. They're going to, oh, they're going to woohoo again. So I, I'm just going to go ahead and mute unless they try for a baby automatically, which I'm sort of hoping that they won't do because I really wanted them to get married first. Okay, we get it. You're awake. Okay. I am a bit apprehensive here. Casual kiss. Oh, is that? Casual make out, okay. I really thought that they were gonna casual woohoo. What are we gonna do? Oh, we're going for it. Oh, thank God it's not tracking, baby. But again, I wouldn't know. And I realised when I was uploading the last part, um, I should have clocked on when I was editing that I would have been able to know if they um, conceived. But my brain just didn't think. So I will actually know when I'm editing whether they have um, tried, well, got pregnant. But fingers crossed that they haven't because I feel like we're just not in the right place financially. Our house is a bit small. Right, well, I'll tell you what. Now you've done that. You go ahead and make the bed and you can serve as breakfast. I guess we're having an early start today. Right, we've... I've not unmuted the game. Now I've unmuted the game. It's raining, which is great. So Christy can go ahead and make us some breakfast. It's the simple things in life. She wanted to eat some cereal and she has accomplished that. Ooh, they want to go on a mountain vacation. Maybe we could do that for our honeymoon. Hmm. I might lock that in, but then that is going to take away the want for the party. But that's okay. So, we're going to get... Oh, not the blue lightning again. Let's go ahead and save. I'm going to um, get these cars sold today, and then hopefully we can start to plan the wedding. I don't really want to have the wedding whilst it's raining. But we'll see. I want this ranking to go up as well. Oh, that was a bad day. Right, let's hope that we are going to make a bit of money today. So let's have our breakfast. Oh, Dad's awake. Floating about. So, Christy, let's get this bed made. Let's have a shower. And, oh, do you know what I'm going to do? Because I hate the thought of the means stood outside in the rain. Let's get an awning. Hmm. Let's go for this one. There we go. At least now they're protected. I don't like the thought of them being stood in the rain when our business opens in a moment. Okay, so Christy's going to go for a shower. Ronnie's dressed for the day, but he's just eating his breakfast. He never seems to get full. I don't know if it's because of the cheap fridge. But we're all set for the day anyway. I wish this lightning would chill out. And let's... Oh no, don't clean up. We want to put away those leftovers as single plates right Christy's ready to start the day she can go be the cashier and then after that Ronnie can go ahead and open the business we're going to start early today I said open the business start the day early Christy's ready I think she's at work today isn't she yeah so she's going to be leaving us soon she's not going to be getting a promotion she's rolled no wants to work on her skills so we'll see. Okay, Ronnie, why don't you go stand over here under the awning? Because I don't want you to get wet. I know the carpool's going to arrive. Doesn't this just look sad? Just the two of them under here. In the rain. He's now jumping in puddles. So professional. Come on, buy this car. Ooh. 
Ronnie has figured out how to use offer app to lower the price just this once and get a customer closer to sell closer to shelling out the simoleons. That kind of shrewdness wins a bronze sales talent badge. Okay, well done, Ronnie. I'm not gonna use either of those. Oh, he's always coming in here in his leotard and writing us a bad review. Go help him. Right. Christy, I'm afraid. Yep, you're already going. We've already tried to help this guy once. And he's sort of not having it, is he? Ooh. Excellent. I'm not sure what that was for, but we'll take it. I think it just increased our reputation, isn't it? I want a ranking because I want to be able... Oh, excellent. Right, go ring up customers. Is he reviewing us again? We can sell this and this car. No, nope, she does not want it, does she? Okay, that was not smooth. Right. We can't do anything towards this customer, can we? Oh, I don't want to hire them. I've been investigating your business and I think it's top notch. I'm writing a good review to tell others about your fantastic establishment. Okay, I'll take that. Wow, you really know what you're doing. Richie Murtis has impressed me so much that I'm giving you the best of the best award. Whenever you want to display it, look for it in Ronnie's inventory. Okay, so we have the simoleon. Oh, we have the picture that we need to put up. The best of the best award. Wow. Maybe when we... um start to build a little shell for this we'll look at displaying that somewhere that's really cool well done ronnie i don't blame her for not wanting to buy this car it seems a bit ridiculous that oops that somebody like her would buy this oh i've spoke too soon congratulations your business is now rank one and you've gained a point to spend on business perks click on the business perks button on the business tracker and choose your new perk okay well why don't we go ahead and do that so simply influential i don't care about the influence points wholesale discount might be quite interesting we don't want to get a loan Access moods. Hmm. Or notable reputation. I'm going to go for the wholesale discount to begin with. And then we might choose something else later. Where are you going? Are you just going to go lounge? Okay. Can we try and sell this car please? I'd like some more money. I wish she'd stop. Oh, does he want something to eat? Okay, well, you have something to... Oh, she's bought it. Excellent. Right then, we're going to ring up this, get this sold, and then we can go ahead and close for the day. Wonderful. Did they just slap each other? Do you know what? I don't care. We've made some money for the day. So now we can uh, have a shower, have something to eat, and get ready to throw a party, I think, for the wedding. We've got 8,000 simoleons. Excellent. So let's have a snack. What time will it... Who has the most friends then? Hmm. Do you know what? Bonnie will throw the party. That's just what we'll do. So you've had something to eat. Let's clean up. I know you would like a, uh, a level 2 business. We can try and aim for that, Ronnie. Okay, so let's go ahead. 
I'm just going to go and set up for the wedding and I'll jump back in when I have done that. Okay, so we are back. I've just gone ahead and put down a wedding arch and a couple of chairs. I've left the hot tub, actually. I should have moved that back a little bit. And we've got a cake. So what I will do is once the do once the wedding is planned, when Christy gets home from work, I will go ahead and cut back this fence, and we can get things set up and allow the guests to get into the back garden. So he is a little bit tired, so I'm going to go ahead and get him to go to sleep, and I will jump back in when Christy is home from work. Okay, Christy has returned from work. I'm going to go ahead and answer that phone. She is super tired. Um, I also need to have a look at what her formal wear is along with his formal wear because I have a horrible feeling that it is not going to look nice. I mean, I'm not going to go out and buy them anything. Oh, maybe I will. Uh, I think I will. I always say I'm not going to and I definitely think I will. If her formal wear is ugly, that's what we'll do. Are you supposed to go and answer the phone to talk to your friend? Okay. Ooh, she could kind of pull that off, actually. Maybe we'll keep that. She likes it. She likes that. We'll, we'll go for that. Okay, take a shower and use. Then you can plan your outfit. And then Christy, after that, can go ahead and get the wedding reception set up. Okay, let's see. Please let Ronnie have some nice um, formal wear. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, we'll go for that. That's, that's better than I thought, guys. I'm impressed with you. Well done. Right, let's throw a wedding party. And I'm just going to go ahead before I forget and just get rid of this fence here excellent so now christy i want you to go ahead and have those balloons really popped wow i tried to make things look nice and this is the thanks i get i have a feeling that none of these people are going to come okay that is better than i thought it was going to go right then take a shower and then we can get this wedding off the ground what i'm going to do is as soon as the guests arrive we're going to get get her clearing this up well actually let's get ronnie clearing these up as well oh, whoa mm. okay mm. thanks acr <laughs> 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 Got no channel more. Excellent. I don't even know. I don't even know who that was. Who was that? So that was Violet and Rick. Okay, thanks, guys. We'll get on with the wedding if you wouldn't mind. Right. Anyway, so we're gonna just get straight on with the wedding because I don't want to wait around for this. Oh, she's already off. She's sitting down with her salad. Love that. Right then. Let's see this marriage get underway. Hopefully all the guests are going to come and sit down. I've just realised I need to make sure. Right, there we go. Sorry. We'll continue. <laughs> Ibsen. Yeah, boy, dear. My vision. La frata mlakina. Vou poder levar money. Oh, val. Ibaza. What? Ibaza. How lovely. So we're going to go ahead and get her to change her name. Excellent, that's wonderful, that all works well. We're going to get them to cut the cake. Oh, look at them all standing up and classic, clapping. How lovely. Okay, now go ahead and cut this cake. And 
And as soon as we've cut the cake, we can leave it there. Mm. Where's your wife? I feel like you were supposed to wait for her. Oh, how lovely. <laughs> oh, how lovely. Right, the party is a roof raiser. Excellent. Roof raiser? Yeah, that's the right word. So, oh, people getting in the hot tub. Love that for us. I knew as soon as she would get married that she would want to try for a baby. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave this part here. Oh, look at them eating the cake together. How beautiful. What a lovely couple these guys make. So yeah, we're going to end it there for this part. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. And I look forward to having you joining me in the next one. If you do have any feedback or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you very much. And I will see you guys in part nine. Thank you. Bye. Mm -hmm.